Mr. Gilberto Lianto, ADB officials. We are also awaiting the arrival of Dr. Tiwa Kumkundu. AIM partners, faculty, students, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. On behalf of our president, Dr. Stephen DeCray, who is right now in Mexico attending a networking meeting among business schools, allow me to welcome you all today to the Asian Institute of Management. We are particularly pleased to be hosting this event, which marks the beginning of a continuing partnership with AIM and the Asia Regional Integration Center of the Asian Development Bank. Given that both AIM and ARIB are in the business of raising awareness and promoting greater participation in regional cooperation and integration initiatives, this collaboration will be mutually beneficial and allow both sides to learn from each other's experiences and expertise. Such a partnership will increase the likelihood, likelihood of achieving synergy through consultation, coordination, and joint initiatives. Uh, AIM was created in 1968, so you are sitting in a landmark building which is over 40 years old already. So I hope you appreciate the historic uh, architecture of AIM. Our vision is to educate professionals, entrepreneurial, and socially responsible managers for Asia. The region has developed dramatically in the intervening years, and the need for this brand of, of managers has not waned, but rather has grown as the region has become more complex and ever more interconnected. In recent years, with the growing dominance of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, AIM has further honed its vision to become the global source of ASEAN talent, insights, and wisdom. Next year, 2015, and in fact I was corrected, it is January 1, 2016, when the ASEAN Economic Community, or AEC, will be implemented and will translate to open borders, free intra-ASEAN trade. But this holds great promise and opportunities, but also challenges and change for the private sector. The first order of business is to be sufficiently informed of the coming wave in order to plan accordingly. Events such as this seminar, which we welcome wholeheartedly at AIM, are meant to address the information gap regarding this issue. This seems to be prevalent at all levels of the private sector. According to surveys, it seems many organizations are yet unaware of the coming integration. The panel in this seminar will discuss issues pertaining to regional cooperation and integration, and we hope you will take advantage of their presence here today and ask questions of the speakers later during the forum. In addition, the fourth Asian Economic Integration Monitor will be formally launched. This publication of ARI provides an overview of the progress of integration across Asia and the Pacific, and we invite you to also take advantage of the free publications at the back. Another event that AIM is uh, zealously preparing for is the second Asian Business Conference in partnership with our alumni association. It's the second business conference. ADB will be represented at this conference, whose theme is 2015, Approaching, Priming for ASEAN Integration. Thought leaders are speaking at the conference to discuss the opportunities and challenges that the ASEAN economic integration will bring. And targeted sessions will examine and identify practical measures that businesses and policymakers can take to prepare for the AEC. Your packet contains information about the Asian Business Conference, and we encourage you to please contact us should you have any questions about it. On behalf of AIM, thank you for joining us here today. We look forward to seeing you again in future events that will talk about the integration, and we hope you will join us in June for the second Asian Business Conference. Thank you. Good morning.